Hello everyone, today we're going to have the circumference and area of circles. So there are some terms that we need to um, define here first. So circumference is the distance around the circle. So it's the distance around the circle. That's the circumference. Radius is a straight line that connects from the center to the side of the circle. So I label this as R. And then diameter is a straight line that connects from one side of the circle to the other side passing through the center. So our center here is O. So um, this is the uh, diameter. And then we have some formula in order to find the length or the distance around a circle is, uh, again, it's called circumference. Circumference is represented as letter C that is equal to two pi R. And our pi value, uh, we have a rounded value for pi. Uh, pi, by the way, is irrational. That means there are still a lot of numbers after the six, but we cut it until six. So 3.1416, instead of writing all the numbers that does not end after six. So R here is a radius. And then the, uh, the other uh, vocab that we have here is radius. I mean, um, area, to find the area is uh, pi r squared. Again, the r is the radius. Just a reminder that the diameter is twice of the radius. So if this is the radius, there are two radii in one diameter. Okay, so let's use this formula that we have here in some of the problems that we got in this next slide here. So I will put the formula again up here so we can use it to... Um, solve for whatever is missing in this problem over here. So we start with the first one. So this is the radius. So then we are asked to find the circumference and area. So both of them. So for the first one that we have here, we are supposed to find the circumference first. So circumference is equal to 2 pi r. So then we have um, 2 times our pi, we, we keep it as pi first, the radius for this is 7.3, so we're just gonna go ahead and put them inside parentheses, so 7.3, so when we multiply 2 times 7.3, that would be 14.6 pi. So we will have two answers for this. This answer that we got over here is called the uh, exact value. So we're going to have this as exact value because we did not put in value for pi. Uh, we just keep it as pi. The other um, answer to this is we multiply 14.6, multiply uh, this by the rounded value of pi, 3.1416. And so if we multiply these two together, we can round it off to 45.87. So the unit that we have here is meters. So this is our um, this is our circumference. To find for the area, so that's the circumference right there. I'm going to use a different color for the area. So the area for this is again the formula is right there, pi r squared. So we put the pi. Our radius is um, seven point three meters and then um, we square it so this would come out 7.3 squared means we multiply 7.3 times 7.3 uh, we multiply 7.3 twice so that would be 53.29 so that's 0.29 pi kilometer this is oh no this is meters not kilometer so that's meters right there so that is 53.29 meters is our exact so this is the exact value by the way this one right here was the rounded value so that's the rounded value this is the exact right there so we have 53.29 pi meters is the exact to find for the rounded so there are supposed to be two answers every time so we have the exact and the rounded so that's the exact right there exact comes with a pi and then the rounded is uh doesn't have a pi on it so it's a, it's a plain decimal so to, to find for the rounded value for this so this would be 53.29 then multiply the pi, I mean, the pi value is 3.1416. And then that's in meters, because that's meters right there. So, uh, by the way, this is already in meters squared, because we 
multiply meter times meter should be a meter squared. Okay, so that's meter squared. So then multiplying all these together, that would be 167.42 meter squared. So this is the rounded. So um, that's the rounded value right there. Now let's move on to the second problem right here. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Since this is a diameter, it means that this side length from the center to the side is 10 kilometers. And this side right here is also 10 kilometers. That's how we got the total of 20 kilometers for the um, diameter. So we're going to solve for the circumference first, just like how we did it over here. So circumference is equal to 2 pi r. So that would be 2 times the pi times our r here is 10 kilometers. We're not using the 20 because that's the... Uh, that's the diameter, so we use the 10. So then the exact value for our um, circumference would be 20 pi, that is kilometers. So this is our exact. So I'm gonna label this as exact value. To find for the rounded value here, we're gonna plug in the uh, the pi will become 3.1416, just like how I did over there. So that would be 20 times 3.1416 and then that should be in kilometers so when we multiply these um, two together this should come out um, 60 that's 60.83 so I just uh, rounded it off okay so that's 60.3 the unit again for this is kilometers and this is our rounded value now let's have the area. So the area formula is up there. So I write the formula area is pi r squared. And so we got the pi. And then our radius again is 10 kilometers. Then we square it. So this comes out uh, 100 pi kilometers squared. This is our exact. So exact means it has uh, pi on it. So that's exact. This is exact. It has a pi on it. We did not change the pi into 3.1416. And then we find the rounded value for this. We just have to multiply the 100 by the pi value, which is the rounded value 3.1416. So that's 100 times 3.1416. And this is already in kilometers squared. We have kilometer times kilometers, kilometers squared. And so the answer for this is 314.16 kilometers squared. And this is our rounded um, value. Did you get the same answers as this? Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the, uh, this time around we do it backwards. What happens if I give you the uh, circumference and area and you're supposed to find for the radius? So let's take this first example here. What is the radius R of a circle if its circumference is 31.416? What is its diameter? So to do this, we are going to use the formula for um, um, circumference. Again, I'm going to take this formula up here. So we're going to use that in the set of problems that we have over here. So I'll put the formula up here so we can um, use this. So again, the, uh, those two formula will be needed in order that this problem can be done. So circumference is equal to um, 2 pi r. That's how we got that. Since our circumference is given, so we plug it in, 31.416 is equal to 2. Our pi is 3.1416. And then our radius is missing. So that's what we're looking for. What is the radius? So from here, we multiply these two together. So that would be 31.416 equals. So multiplying these two would come out 6.2832 r. We want the r by itself, so then we are going to divide both sides by 6.2832. Um, divide this by 6.2832, so we can 
cross these two out. So then dividing these two, this would give us the radius is 5. So if the radius is 5, what is our diameter? Remember that diameter is twice the radius, so our diameter is 10. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So this is about area. So what is the radius of a circle if its area is this value right here? So the formula for area is right there, so I'm going to write it out. So area is pi r squared. So our area is this one. We're going to write it up here. So 254.4696 equals our pi is... 3.1416, and then we got an r squared that's missing. So we're going to divide both sides by 3.1416. Divide this by 3.1416, so we can cross this out. We're left with um, r squared is equal to, so dividing these two will come out 81. And so we want the r by itself, so we're going to square root both sides. So we have the square root of 81 is 9. So this is our radius. Did you get 9 as your answer? You did. Perfect. If you found this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!